Now, continuing our leaders' interviews in advance of tomorrow week's general election, we're joined in the studio by Michael Collins of Independent Ireland, outgoing TD for Cork South West. You're very welcome. Thanks for, indeed Thank for joining us on 6 1. Um, you've been very critical of the Green Party, you've been very critical of carbon taxes. How would Independent Ireland propose to uh, reach Ireland's emission targets? Well, first of all, uh, the Green Party are in government in a, in a, and have departments in a lot of important areas like forestry, like transport, and they failed to deliver in each. No, they didn't. You, they, well, I wasn't they, asking you about, about the Green Party. I was I asking you that, how, I know, how you yeah, get but, to uh, yeah, but like, We have targets. to speak about those who could have delivered and where they could have delivered, delivered in relation to transport. And I've been very, very vocal on that. Rural transport, it's, it's, it's only made small moves in the last number of years. It's it gone up fivefold. It needs to make significant moves. It's gone up fivefold. No, but if you want to take cars off the road, and that's a yeah. huge issue, you, how can you do that if somebody has to sit into a car to get to public transport and have to travel maybe 10, 12 miles? Mm. That's not going to work at 10, 12 kilometres. Mm. You have to, we have to look at complete reform of transport. I'm very, very sorry that they didn't spend time uh, during their time in government to reform that, that they could pick up people in rural communities, maybe in school buses that are travelling into these rural yeah. communities every morning, but they didn't, and they didn't. But, but if and we could also, get back to your, also, to your own in relation to forestry, yes. and it's very, very important to okay. mention that, we didn't reach our targets in relation to forestry. How are we going to reach our, entire, our targets if we can't deliver on the areas where it could have been delivered? Okay. But instead, it was a continuous finger-pointing at agriculture and, and, and areas where people found it difficult oh. to survive with the, with the way it was put forward. OK, if, if we could get back to independent Ireland. I know you're uh, launching your manifesto tomorrow, so all I have to go on is the policy statements on your website, one of which says you're, you plan to expand light rail services to all 26 counties in rural and urban areas. Does that mean you're bringing the Lewis to Leitrim? Well, what, what I will say is that real, as far as I'm concerned, should, there should be a report, or uh, they should have commissioned a report that would at least entertain the idea of bringing rail into rural communities. I mean, in, in, well, in, the, in, in, the in, late, in fairness, in the, I can save you the time on, uh, you, you talk about a two-year feasibility study. Yeah, I don't in, think like rail would work Unfortunately, everything in, in this country is feasibility, but the bottom line here, David, is this. In, in the late 1850s, rail was coming to West Cork. Mm -hmm. Today, I have to travel two hours to get to any rail service. That's not good enough. That's not delivery. They never brought it into rural communities, they never brought it back into the countryside as such. It's like Dublin is well catered for, and it should be well catered for with the population of people in Wick and places like that, but other communities don't see any real, and we have to, to to progress these communities to try. And it's 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 great for these communities in relation to housing because they can deliver in rural com areas for housing, and it builds up rural communities so people can travel to work and travel quickly. That's not happening at this present time. Now, Independent Ireland is a new entrant on the electoral scene, obviously formed by yourself and, and two colleagues, two fellow TDs in the doll, and you have candidates, uh, twenty eight candidates, twenty eight candidates in, in, in yeah. total, and and people, and you, you're you're saying you want to be in government, and people might wonder how coherent you would be in government, how reliable you could be in government, because you do say you don't want a party whip, but you'll apply it for a programme for government. At we, we will ap uh, apply it for uh, the programme for government, and, and obviously legislation that wasn't agreed in the programme for government will be discussed and will either be agreed or not agreed, because if it's not there before us in relation to the programme of government, and everything should be for five years ahead, mm. and that's what happens. But things it, happen. During, it, things do happen, yeah. but then negotiations happen. I, so in, in areas of conscience, we will not be applying a party whip. But in, in fairness to people that, that, that you know, we, we, we will be applying a party whip as such in, in the program of government, if we are in government. But, but let me tell you one thing. If independent Ireland are not part of government, we will become a very, very strong, very, very strong opposition. And that's what's needed in the Dáil too, is a strong opposition if we can't get, uh, find a place in government. Just on the question of, of party policy, I mean, you, you've been quite outspoken in, in the past. There was a, a famous hot press interview in, in April where you said you disagreed with drink driving limits, you believe people should be able to shoot intruders, prostitution should be legalised, automatic 25-year sentences for third conviction and chemical castration for rapists and paedophiles. Are those party policies? No, not all party policies. And I suppose, look, I was entitled to my personal view, it was, uh, it was a viewpoint of Michael Collins, TD. Um, but you're a leader of the party. But crime. The Crime, we are gone light in crime. And you mentioned one of the things there, 25 years. People are being hurt in this, in the, in, in this country. People have been assaulted. People are being, being left dead in this country. And light sentences are giving people the, the freedom to go on and do that. And I don't agree with that. And my, par and my party, Independent Ireland, don't agree with that. But not everything that, that might have been said today is agreed uh, in, in relation to our, our policies. OK, well, talking about immigration, uh, your candidate in Galway West left Fianna Fáil after a row over comments he made relating to immigration. He said the inn is full after an arson attack burned down a hotel designated to house refugees. Your candidate in Dublin South Central accused immigrants of selling drugs and complained about the presence of what he referred to as 
coloured guys on O'Connell Street. Do those remarks reflect party policy? No, in fairness, and, and that, there was an apology made after the, the, the latter uh, person you spoke about there, uh, his remarks, you know, some people in the heat of the moment say things that maybe they shouldn't be said. In relation to immigration, Independent Ireland's policies that small communities and a lot of other communities in, in, in this country are, have, are, are at capacity. People are telling us that. The local clinics, the local schools are all full to capacity. And people still continue, the government still continue to have a reckless policy in relation to immigration. Instead of including and bringing communities with them, they haven't done that and they haven't delivered. And what we're seeing is that people, at least we'll just say in relation to uh, building uh, modular homes, that the, these homes will will not be built without a proper planning process that people have an object, opportunity objects. So that will stop the protests that are going on out there. People have a say, and have a, a, at this present time, they don't have a say in their communities. That's what they're telling me. That's what they're telling the candidates out there. And that's it's, it's what our candidates are relaying back to, uh, to the media that's there. OK, Michael Collins, leader of Independent Ireland. Thank you very much. Thank you.